What up, it's Cyrus, uh, about to work out, but I wanted to make a quick video. Um, who the hell is Julius Ndongo, okay? And uh, you know, it's pretty funny. Um, I, I, I follow boxing, I'm a big fan of boxing. I feel like there's a lot of parallel uh, between like fighting and, and really just life. You know, you gotta get hit, stay up, you gotta adjust, you gotta move, you gotta fight back, you gotta do all these things, you know, that, that really parallel life. And I think that, um, you know, especially with fighting because it's so primal, that it's interesting when you, uh, you know, there's new champions on the rise to kind of uh, learn and, and find out about their story. And, you know, the welter, welterweight division, lightweight division, it's kind of, has been the most, um, competitive division in boxing for a while now uh and there's this dude that just came out of nowhere and is just winning right um his name is julius Ndongo, okay and i guess he's from namibia and uh he's like 22 and 0 now um but he, yeah he's never lost he was an he was an olympian uh these sort of things for his country so it's not like this dude is a scrub right but he, I think his first 20 fought, fights, he just fought in Namibi, N Namibia. So I can't even pronounce it correctly because that's how little we know about that country here in America, right? And uh, this guy gets a, uh, what was supposed to be like almost like a tune-up fight for this dude in Russia. And uh, this guy in Russia was like just dominating everyone, right? They, um, he's selling out an arena. All right, so they, they set up a fight and, uh, <laughs> you know, the arena's packed, it's full. Everyone's like, oh man, this dude's gonna get smoked. The dude, uh, Indongo, goes over there to fight this Russian and knocks him out in 40 seconds. One punch, boom, over. The crowd is stunned. Everyone's like, what, <laughs> you know? Knocks this dude out. And like that Russian guy, they're saying he's the only guy that could beat the American champ, who this dude Terrence Crawford, who's also sick. But it was just like this no-name dude that has never fought a professional fight outside of Namibia comes over here and knocks out the champion in 40 seconds. So everybody was like, okay, what's going on? Who is this guy? But, you know, it's luck, you know. This dude isn't really the real deal. He just got lucky with one punch. Congrats, but, you know, whatever, right? So, earlier this year, April goes, fights another guy, uh, Ricky Burns, champion, you know, in uh, freaking the UK, Scotland, or I, I don't know, something like that, right? This dude has belts. This dude has been a champion for like three di three different times over the last seven years. Beats this dude down. Ndongo beats this dude down, right? I, the, watching the fight, they say that he won every single round. And everyone's like, who is this guy? You know? And it's l just so crazy that this dude fought in Namibia no one knows and then he just comes out and just steamrolls people you know on an international uh platform out of nowhere and why does that matter to you in your life in your business or whatever it may be right to me it's so interesting because there's someone somewhere right now that you're gonna run across soon that is training <laughs> right so in life, the awesome thing about life is, and no matter what you do, you could be the Indongo or you could be the other guys, right? You could be the, the person who's preparing for their moment in life for the big stage. Or you could be the person who is maybe working hard, but you haven't really put in that work. It's not that those champions didn't deserve to be where they were at. It's not that they uh you know what i'm saying they didn't they they didn't like put in the work or um you know they were just up there because it was given to them no they worked hard but obviously they weren't working the hardest <laughs> you know 
Um, and it's just interesting to me. It's just so interesting. Cause it's like, what is Namibia? How big is it? Who's from there? And this dude just comes out of nowhere and just steamrolls them, right? And what's so what's so crazy is is that like think about how many kids are you know between the ages of seven and even 21 25 that whole generation of kids are seeing this dude go into the world and just dominate right how many people has this guy motivated even in just that one sport right to to go out and be great and that's just what excites me about life. That's just what brings a smile to my face because there's some seven or eight or nine year old kid in Namibia right now who says, I'm gonna be the next Ndongo. I'm gonna go put in this work. I'm gonna work hard. I'm gonna change my life. I'm gonna make millions. I'm gonna have a Ferrari. All the, the beliefs and dreams of an entire generation now just changed because somebody did it that's like me. They're watching TV like, yo, that's me. And it's just funny because it's like the dude knocks him out one punch. The whole crowd is silent and there's only four people in his corner <laughs> in the entire arena. There's four people celebrating, four. And it's like, what is happening? And those four people just shocked 15, 16, 17,000 people. Truly gl glorious glorious you know so first off shout out to julius and dongo and uh, you know second a what is done in closed doors uh you know comes out in the open hey thanks for watching we created this youtube channel to show people out there success is different for everyone it's okay if you haven't figured everything out yet. You will. Everything works out in time. Down below, there is a link to join our business community. Click it and learn how you can start your own online business and meet thousands of other positive, like-minded people just like you. Click the link below. We'll see you soon.